Welcome back everyone. Before we get started, I would like to say a quick prayer for everyone and myself. You guys, it's been a lot going on this week, so we would like to share with you. Gracious Heavenly Father, I commit this week to your purpose. Thank you that you are always here to hear my prayers and consider my meditations. Even in the midst of uncertainty and anxiety, I will look to you and depend on your strength. Today, I will walk in your power and rest in your promise. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day to serve you. I began my day by spending time with you. I commit myself to your will, Lord Jesus. Give me an unquenchable passion to see the gospel expand to the nations and the lost come to know you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are our Savior, and I thank you, Lord Jesus. In your precious name, amen, amen. Hydrate. You got him. All right, guys. We're going to see if this is a girl or boy. Come closer this way, Daniel, so I can see him on video. If the girl pecks back up, if the chicken pecks back up, it's a female. If not, it's a boy. Bad luck. Oh, my gosh. We got two males. All right. Dan, you just having a little too much fun with these chickens. <laughs> wow, yeah, they jumped all the neighbors. Oh, Daniel, don't let them fly in the neighbor's yard. Uh-uh, don't mess with them, don't mess with them. Oh, my God. Uh, Mom, that's... He he coming. He gonna fly back over here. Where your glasses, baby? Oh, Daniel, he flew down here. So you know what that means, Daniel? We may lose two, so we gotta go buy uh four more. Get female only, guaranteed. I'll buy them, I'll let you pick them. No, just get the female only one. I want some pretty ones. Get the female only one. I am, but I want pretty ones. So get some pretty female only ones. You want to go pick them? Already had their food for this morning and later this evening, I'll give them a little more food. And uh, I gave them some cut cucumbers to keep them cool. And I'm on my way to the flea market now. And see the cucumbers on the ground there? They kind of like demolished them. And I'm going to the flea market now to get some watermelons and some stuff to keep in the fridge to keep the chickens cool. And so far, y'all, it's been so hot, but the lettuce, we have been eating a lot of the lettuce and the lettuce is looking real good. The romaine, we have, y'all, we cut these stalks down and we are, are they're regenerating and they're eating. Carrots are looking good over here. I had to plant some more beets, y'all, and they're coming up. See the beets there? Got some peppers and onions and carrots. The kale, collard green, everything looking good. So, flea market, and we will see you guys at the flea market. Everybody, it is time for Rody the Rooster to go. He's in this box. He's gonna be going to his new home. See Rody. See Rody. So Rody is gonna be going to his new home. These gonna be his new owners. It's a sentimental thing, but uh, Rody's gonna be going. Yep. 
Hey, you guys, there is a city ordinance in Jacksonville. We cannot have roosters in the city limit, so we have no choice but to get rid of Rody, our beautiful rooster. And you guys, we have salt and pepper at home. We gonna see next week if they are roosters. Rody was the more dominant rooster and they wasn't crowing. We couldn't tell who was doing all the crowing, but we knew Rody was very, very loud. So you guys, we're trading Rody for food to feed all the other chickens because they don't have any hens right now. And he just educating us on you know, when we buy the chickens from like Tractor Supply or Hatchery, they say they females, but actually they really don't know. If they tell you it's a, uh, a male, or if they, it's so hard to tell. I mean, even when we buy them from the um, hatcheries, you know, it's, we could buy, we could buy, we buy normally between 50 and 100 chicks when she buys them from the hatcheries. And they'll say, okay, they're all females. Get, you get eight or ten that, that yeah, are male. It, it's so hard to tell. Right. Well, we'll see y'all. We got another male. She's ordering 50, if she goes through with it, uh, 50 Rhode Island Red Roosters. Rhode Island That's Red what we have. Yeah. Yeah. She's ordering 50 Roosters. Because everyone asks them. Oh, Rhode Island Red. Oh my God, they are roosters. They that are. the speckled one? It's a big bird. So. Yeah. Well, they sure are getting big. Yeah. Oh and my we had, God. We had, like we had some egg chickens like that, bro, the brown one right there. Yeah. They feed But my dog got a hold of one of them. We looked at the wooden and he had, he was yeah. already yeah. limped over. We had a... Uh, well, they got him, y'all. Big boy, huh? Yeah, he's gone. He's only you. He's only uh sixteen weeks. Six months. Sixteen weeks. I know. That's what I told him. Yeah. Yes. He's growing his new feathers and stuff. I told her I had uh. He's only sixteen weeks. We got him in March when he was a little bitty baby chicken. They call those meat birds. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he been losing his feathers and growing. He's young. Very very. If he's a meat bird, he's, he'll only live another month. They only live to be about uh, between four and six months old. And that's the reason. They get so big, so e um, quickly, that their organs can't keep up with them. So they're literally bred to be slaughtered at four months. They're meat. They, you said they're a meat chicken. That's, that's what they do. This is cracked corn, wheat. Wheat mill, corn, and oats. Oh, okay. He's gonna give you four of those bags. Oh, thank you. Well, you guys, this is Rody the Rooster. We traded him for some and That's food. a good trade. That's yeah. not even horns. Where they lay giant white eggs. They're delicious. Really good. Yeah, I'm waiting to get some eggs. And they're skinny birds. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we got some big ones at home. Yeah. All right, thank you, Okay, cool. Thank you very much. All right, bye, Rody. See you later, baby. Bye, Rody. He's been uh, molting in the dust. It rained yesterday. That's oh, why yeah. dirty. Yeah. All laws are like. All right, my honey is. He has the feed. So now we're going to feed the other roosters. The other chickens. What you say, baby? I know, right? <laughs> oh, you gotta put your top down. Feel sad, Rody's gone. Guys, my son, he just spoiled my husband. He bought him a brand new self propelled battery operated lawnmower. This is late Father's Day gift. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that, it's a Ryobi. He has a Husqvarna uh, self-propelled lawnmower that uses gas, but you guys, this uses battery. And we can save a lot of money 
My husband's so happy, it's like a new toy. It's like a new robot. How you like your gift, babe? Love my gift. Love it. Y'all, it cuts so well. And you know what, when he changed the blade, he got, he, he just have a level. Show him how to change the blade. How you, how you change your levels. When you want to change the blade, you pull this handle. That lets the lawnmower up. That lets it down to the level that you want to cut. I usually cut this backyard on two. Then, to get started, pull this handle down. Press this button. Up. Put this handle back, press the start button, and then you press this for self propel. This button right here is to tell you how fast you want to go. Right now I'm at a, like a minimal speed. Put it over there, that'll run you. I keep it about right there. This is more eco-friendly because it's battery operated, y'all, and it can go fast. It's not slow at all. Look at Max chasing the butterfly. He almost had it, y'all. key right there as it would be in there to run oh, wow. 40 volt battery lithium batteries so wow. I should get good mileage out of batteries yeah it's nice and I like the level where it uh, you put it up and I like the uh, release handle here yeah. and self propelled this is a very very nice long one all right sweetheart I'm gonna let you get back to your work let's see the happy face Thanks for the lawnmower. Thanks for the lawnmower. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have had a very uneventful day today. I am getting ready to go inside and make some taco pizza roll ups. So, you guys, it is getting late. So, we're going to make these taco pizza roll ups. So, let's do this. 
you guys i'm gonna add a little of this olive oil to the pan and i am using ground turkey meat so we're gonna fry this up real good and we're gonna make some wonderful pizza taco taco roll-ups and i am going to be using uh just a regular pack of taco seasoning The meat is finished. I am using some Pillsbury croissant rolls. That's what I have here. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be rolling it out and I'm going to flatten it out just to make the uh, pizza roll ups. Now, um, you can have a dipping sauce of uh, some salsa or you can make your own sauce, whatever you like on your tacos. But the meat has a taco flavor and i am using some croissant rolls and i'm gonna roll them out just a little bit to give it a more of a square uh surface so i can put the filling in i am going to be adding some shredded cheese i have some mexican shredded cheese and the uh seasoned meat and that's all you need and once we finish we're going to put them in the oven and we're going to bake them at 350 degrees for 25 minutes between 20 25 minutes and you have some wonderful taco pizza roll-ups guys what a beautiful warm evening it is it's just a beautiful beautiful warm evening i have brought the dogs out so they can have their special potty time max get out my bed please you got sun is still out the moon up there it's like a crescent moon it's about nine o'clock at night. So we're just doing our last little turn outside. Hey guys, I am at home cleaning. Look at all this work. I removed the rug, moved furniture. I'm cleaning up. I am washing. Go this way. I am washing. Oh, here's the broom. I am washing. I am sweeping. I have washed um, my, my uh, containers, I have dishes to put away, laundry to fold, and more 
stuff to clean up the dog toys cleaning up back here it is morning let me raise this um open this curtain so yeah got a lot of stuff to clean up and this is what i'm doing i'm bringing out stuff uh cleaning up stuff my beautiful uh sweet shop mugs yep I had them in the lower cabinet found these it's a sweet shop i haven't seen these in like two years but that's what happens when you start decluttering and cleaning as i am cleaning i have a lot to clean clean all my crystal wear up that's in the cabinet clean the table oh here's my husband Oh, honey, where you be? Oh, my beautiful wife. Oh, got you some, mm. got you some thank you, sweetie. Look at my beautiful flowers. Oh, they so beautiful. Thank you, honey. Look at my beautiful flowers. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the girl with daisies. I got to put these in a vase. Put them in my beautiful vase. See here. I have the perfect vase. I'm gonna put them in this beautiful vase, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so I'm gonna go clean them up, put them away, and let me give you another kiss, honey. I love you. <laughs> Hope that brighten up your day. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You guys, look at these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Look at this. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at these beautiful All right, guys. Look at my beautiful flowers. I have finished cleaning, and I put my beautiful, beautiful flowers in water. Look at this beautiful pink flower. Aren't they beautiful? Queen Anne's lace. So, yeah. How you feel, honey? <laughs> Let me put the mop bucket up so I am transitioning from summer, getting ready to go in the fall. So I took most of the fall stuff down, just left a little decoration. You ready, Daniel? All right, guys. So just wanted to show y'all my flowers. This is our favorite Chinese restaurant. Yep. Our favorite Chinese restaurant. To the China Buffet. You guys, it is a blessing to have your husband or your wife, either one, take you out. You know, he still treat me special and we've been together 28 years, you guys almost 30 years and it, it's just a blessing and it's just special you know he still still treat me the way he did when we first met and that's that's just a blessing kind of buffet I really feel special today. He bought me flowers and he's taking me to lunch. Such an awesome, awesome husband. I just thank God for him. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then drink? Oh, just water for me. Yes, 
look at the food. Oh, look at all the food. Oh. And they cook. Amazing. All food looks amazing. All right, you guys. I am riding with my son Daniel. We're going to buy some wood chickens because you guys salt and pepper. They're both boys. He did the chicken test. Salt and pepper. Yeah. That's a good name. <laughs> yeah, salt and pepper gotta go. Y'all this morning. Pepper was crowing and then salt started trying to crow. I said, oh God. So then you had to go out and do the test. And the test proved if it's true what the farmer said, they both the boys. So he put rubber bands around we had tractor supply around uh, peppers. He put rubber band on pepper and the other one don't. So we're going to watch in the morning to see if both crowing or one crowing. We don't want to get rid of our beautiful birds. Right, Daniel? I guess. <laughs> what are you doing? Back there. What? Now you're back in there. Go ahead, now you back it on up. <laughs> Yeah, those particular ones over there, the big hay bales, they get them over there to the horses. Right. They got a horse wheel, that big wheel thing you see. Imagine they had horses over here. Huh? Imagine they had horses over here. <laughs> you learning now about air conditioning, huh? <laughs> okay. All right. You guys, we're at Tractor Supply. Oh, look at these little people. Like if you have a farm or something, you can go dirt riding or you can go riding around your farm. For kids. No, that's for grown people. Small. That's a go-kart. It's a go-kart. You can't even fit in that. Yeah, get in it, Daniel. Oh it's a go-kart. What is this? These are uh, zero return uh, cutters and trimmers for the grass. Okay. That'd be good. That'd be yeah. good for dad if he had a big thing. When we get a bigger yard. So, we're at Tractor Supply. Good morning. We're here to buy chickens. Alrighty. Ooh, gooseberries. Alright, let's see which ones we're going to get today, Daniel. <sighs> How you doing? doing Bought you? chickens and three of them roosters. Oh, no, no, that's no good. I know, right? You guys need more chickens? Yes, yeah. we're going to buy some more. These are like, these are people. Oh, they all. Oh, they all unisex. What do you mean? No. So the straight ones, the Americanas, those are going to be uh, male or female. The cream leg bar are going to be pullets. This pullets. tank is going to be pullets. 
and then the guineas in that tank over there are going to be uh, assorted. Moderate production. Okay, so we got to get our female because you know we woke up this morning, they were crowing. Yeah. We bought them in March, and now they crowing. We got rid of one big chicken, one of the meat birds. Mm -hmm. So now. <laughs> So which ones you gonna get, Danny? We go get. The I mean, these are moderate producers. Those are uh, high producers. Sex chickens. What that mean? That mean just look, females on. Yeah, females. Okay. What color? Mm. Oh, we want some gray ones this time. So all of these in here are only females. Yes. We can't guarantee it. Um, we can't sex them, but when they send it to us, that's what they say they are. Okay. Oh boy, look over there, Danny. Yeah, man. Females that. only. Isn't it? That's mixed. Yeah. No, nah, that one. The cream the bar. Did you even see the chicken? Oh, let me see how it look like. Oh, they look like the ones we get. Then you pick them. Get four of the prettiest ones. Nah, we just take any in here. Four of the prettiest. You. Let me see. Which one? Guineas. What's the guineas? So, there's none in there. It's just the Brahmas that we have. Um, no one took the sign down. But those are, they're super loud birds. Oh, no, we don't want those. Um, the, my coworker that's running the cash register right now, mm -hmm. she uh, she has two guineas. She names them AT&T and Safe Touch, because that's her alarm. It's <laughs> Yeah, AT&T is something. No, we can't have them loud. We live in the city. So you guys want some of the, the yeah. white ones? Yeah. Okay. You pick the colors. All the pretty ones. You don't care? No. Nah, you don't know how they want to look when they uh, grow, so. But you sure all these are females. You don't know if they're males that's, that's or not. That's what they tell them. So. Yeah, so I, don't, I can't guarantee it, um, but that's you, you have a better chance when it says pullets. Okay. Did you give us one of them dark ones with the the brown dark? One of the one of these guys. Yeah. Did you do that one? I I haven't. I got four of the. Um... And mix them up. I want to be okay. pretty. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Oh wait, man, you put a. Oh, they all the same. Yeah, one with the the dark down. One of these. Back. Oh yeah, okay. look at him. Okay. You guys good with that? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. That's okay. it, right? Yep. Cause we have seven left. Uh -huh. um, we got six. Six left. I mean, we have eight, so we have two. Two. So we got six. So six. We got five. Five. There you go. We got four. Thank you, sir. Thank you have a problem. wonderful day. You too. No, we got four. One white one and three and three brown ones. And you got the two salt and peppers. We got the going away, so we got four. Yeah. Uh huh. These make uh, these make eighty. Oh, uh, Daniel's doing the chicken test. Make sure they females. See, they pecking back. That's a female. Hold it so the camera can see, babe. I want it to poop. Female. These are these like are the pullets. You can squish this thing. Oh God, that's a male. You sure? You remember the male? Just chill out. <laughs> Take it back. Need a new one. Is that the only one? Oh, we keep it over here, I guess. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Female. Oh god. Well, then we got them. We'll take them home. They supposed to be all females. I guess we'll see in what four months. <laughs> God. Might as well see this last one. Oh God, they so pretty. Shake them. Female. So how many of them did that? One or two, dang. Two of them. <gasps> Hold up. I don't know. I th what you think? We should go. I should go back in. Female. Yeah. Wait. Should we at? You want you want to bring him in to ask? But she said he said they didn't know. Oh, that's definitely a male. All right, let's go back in and let's ask. Come on. Let's ask. Okay. 
Can I go back in, y'all? Can you hold the keys? Yeah. We're going to tell them. We did the test. And we're going to see if they'll exchange them. Y'all, we bring the baby chickens home. They just hit me in my face. It did? Yeah. Uh, these are the baby chickens, y'all. We bringing them home. Dan, you know you can't drop them. They little. You have to place them down. So, I can't oh, see you. I want to get that white thing out of there so they don't start pooping okay. on it. Yeah, let them in there gently. Let me, let me get some good video. You all know. Let me get the video. Okay. Y'all, Daniel's finna let the chickens out. Give him some bread. Huh? Give him some bread. I gave him bread and uh, sweet potato. See the baby. So cute. He just crows. <laughs> you guys, we just heard another different kind of crow. Oh my word. We have all these roosters. Y'all, we get them when they babies. You see how we buy them? Track the supply. They tell us they female. We get them home. We raise them. It's expensive, you know, to feed them, buy feed, take care of them four months and then they turn out to be roosters we have to get rid of them so salt and pepper definitely going um this weekend we're getting rid of them this weekend with the lady at the uh flea market her husband's gonna uh probably this time we're gonna ask for a hen in the next video we'll be we'll be uh showing y'all the new hen that we received from the free flea market because we're going to be trading salt and pepper <laughs> this is too funny <laughs> there you go get him y'all he trying to see how many boys we got <laughs> Y'all, he want to be in the action so bad. <laughs> Don't squirt my poo, Daniel. Don't squirt my poo. I got to. <laughs> Making so much noise. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you got him. You got him. All right, guys, we're going to see if it's a girl or a boy. Come closer this way, Daniel, so I can see him on video. If the girl pecks back up, if the chicken pecks back up, it's a female. If not, it's a boy. Bad luck. Oh, my gosh, we got two males. Well, we know. All right. Dan, you just having a little too much fun with these chickens. <laughs> wow, yeah, they jumped all the way over. Oh, Daniel, don't let them fly in the neighbor's yard. Uh-uh, don't mess with them, don't mess with them. Oh, my God. Uh, mom, that's he, mom, 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 mom. He coming. Oh, my God. He gonna fly back over here. Uh, where your glasses, baby? Oh, Daniel, he flew down here. So you know what that means, Daniel? We may lose two, so we gotta go buy uh, four more. 
You guys, thank y'all for hanging out with us today. I just wanted y'all to see my beautiful flowers one more time before we end this video. You guys, please subscribe to our channel if you made it this far. We'd love to have you as part of our family. And we thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all in the next one.